Good afternoon and welcome to My Pilates Online. My name is Linda and today we are going to breathe and meditate. I'd like to open up the space today with the four directions. So wherever you are lying, under the four directions in which you move, this comes from the Native American Indian practice and it is sacred information and knowledge that has been passed down through generations and over time they looked into the western world and decided that they needed to share their knowledge with us and i've been very fortunate enough to be um, to have had my invocation through my womb rights to be able to hold space in this way so to the winds of the south great serpent Wrap your coils of light around us. Teach us to shed the past the way you shed your skin. To walk softly on Mother Earth. Teach us the beauty way. Aho. To the winds of the west. Mother, Sister Jaguar. Protect our medicine space. Teach us the way of peace to live impeccably. Show us the way beyond fear, beyond death. Aho. To the winds of the north, royal hummingbird, grandmothers, grandfathers, wise ancient ones, come and warm your hands by our fires. Whisper to us in the wind, we who honor you who have come before us and you who will come after us, our children's children. Aho. To the winds of the east, great eagle condor, come to us from the place of the rising sun. Keep us under your wings. Show us the mountains we only dare to dream of and teach us to fly wing to wing with great spirit. Aho. We have gathered for the healing of all your children, the stone people, the plant people, the four-legged, the two-legged, the creepy crawlers, the finned, the furred and winged ones, all our relations, Father, Son, Grandmother, Moon, to the star nations, Great Spirit, you who are known by a thousand names and you who are the unnameable one, we thank you for bringing us together to sing the song of the one. Nichi tai tai no ai, oranika oranika hey hey oh hi. Nichi tai tai no ai. Orinika, orinika, hey, hey, oh, hi. And as we honor the four directions and all the elements that surround us and the part of our world that we live in, we call into our space a moment of stillness so that we may realign we may reconnect and re-energize our beings as we shift out of the month of August and shift into the calendar month of September. We look into spring. We look into the beautiful black buds and blossoms that are sprouting up around us. And we pause for a moment and look back at our journeys. We pause and look back at the journey of life and what it is that we have processed. What have we learned? How has our soul been stretched? What new dreams have come to fruition through the darkness and through the shadows of winter as we've gone into the depths of the cave? the depth of our homes, the depth of our hearts and our souls, exploring the emotions that have sat deep within us.
what light has come from that darkness. What glowing energy exists out of that space as we look to see new dreams, as we look to manifest and create a new life for ourselves, looking beyond fear, beyond death, into light, into love, into our creative energies. Take a beautiful, deep, long inhale, breath wide and full into the fullness of your body. And as you exhale, sigh your breath out and let go. Surrender completely and fully. Inhaling wide and full into your life force and your breath, feeling that beautiful expansion of energy from within. And as you exhale, surrender and let go of what no longer serves you in this moment in time as you place yourself into the present moment. Breathing in wide and full. Pausing with your breath for as long as you can. Feeling that love of energy that surrounds you as you start becoming aware of your senses. And when you cannot anymore, exhale. Tapping into your senses wherever you are right now in the earth plane. What do you hear? What do you feel against your skin? What parts of your body are connected to the floor? What parts of your body have clothing on them? Can you feel the air against your hair? What do you smell? You start becoming aware of the depth of your breath right now. Are you breathing? Can you feel your body drawing in this rhythm, this beautiful mechanical rhythm that exists? Create it, find that heartbeat in your breath. Feel your connectedness, your grounding and rooting as you breathe. And start to bring that awareness into the forefront of your mind as you know that when you breathe, you're balancing out your nervous system. You're increasing your wellness, your immunity. You're decreasing stress and anxiety. Allowing yourself to fully surrender. Let go fully and completely of every single tightness and tension that exists within your physical body in the present moment. And take another full deep inhale breath as you release fully and completely. Let go of all the tension inside your ankles, your toes. Surrender fully and completely all the tension inside your calf muscles, your knees. of your soul, the tightness that's deep inside your hips, breathe into that space. And as you let go fully and completely, imagine that your legs have washed away from your physical body. Surrender all the tension out of your lower back. Your pelvic bowl. And breathe long, full belly breaths into your body. Feel 
through your spine opening and softening. Let go of all the tension inside your abdominal cavity that houses your heart and your lungs. Let your rib basket fully surrender as your heart pumps blood and life force into your veins, coursing the energy of life through you. Can you feel your heart beating inside your body? Let go of all the physical tension inside your arms, your palms and your fingers. Feel your body surrendering as a second wave of energy washes over your torso and your arms, allowing your entire body to wash away from you, leaving you with just a neck and a head. Scan across your neck and start to observe your words. Start to observe the core of who you are through the vibrations and frequencies of words that exit your mouth. They are like prayers in the wind. Every single word is a prayer that you say into the world, into the universe. And Gaia is listening to you. Go fully and completely of all the tension inside your face, allowing the muscles of your face to soften. Let go of all the muscles around your eyes and allow yourself to gaze between the center of your eyes as you look into your own third eye, the color indigo. Open up your senses, your two ears, your two eyes, and see into the sacred geometry of the world that exists around you. Take a lovely full inhale, breath wide into your body. And feel that third wave of energy releasing over your face and your neck, washing everything away from you. Let go of this physical dimension. Allow yourself to let go, surrender, and be a part of life. from deep within your base chakra start to spread down into the earth below you.
Feel the crown of your head open up as the crown chakra expands and opens to connect to God, Goddess, all that is one. The star nations. Can you imagine your entire being turning into a beautiful flame? As you feel your body burning in this flame, I ask you to step into the fire. And in this fire, we burn passion. We burn the pain, the trauma of all those things that no longer serve you. All those egoic identity attachments that you've created, that you do not want in your life anymore. Burn. head, a beautiful cloud appears, and the wind starts to pick up and the air starts to move around this flame. We feel the flames of your body moving with the energy and element of air, blowing into your life, whispers Whispers to your friends, whispers to your family members of love, of support, of kindness. And as this wind blows, your flame dances its own beautiful, unique dance. Surrendering into what no longer is aligned with you and drawing in the beautiful energy from your family, from your friends, from the tribe of people that you are energetically aligned to. you in this cloud as it starts to open gentle small raindrops drop 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 these droplets of rain dim your fire Wakes your fire. And slowly with each droplet of rain that drops down, your fire is extinguished. And wherever you are lying, the water starts to pour down into your body as you fill up. The water cleanses, the water fills the space that you are lying in, 
as water fills the entire space around you with water. If you are hovering, floating, completely immersed in a womb space, and in this womb space, your soul surrenders. soul stops fighting, your soul re-enters mother's womb. And as you float in this magnificent space that is healing, supportive, feel the tears drawing down on your cheeks as you realize that this is the dream. You are in it. You are connected into everything that you could ever wish for. Your body is your gift, your mind is your gift, and your soul is your gift. Slowly the water starts to absorb down into the earth below you. And as the water drains away, you are left naked on the earth, connected and grounded into When you start to breathe full, long body breaths into you, into your body, you honor your journey through the elements of this plane and this beautiful world that we are living in. You say thank you to fire for burning and releasing what no longer serves you. You say thank you to the air for blowing in your new seeds and dreams and wishes from your friends and family, from your tribe. You say thank you to water for taking you back into the womb space and cleansing, clearing and releasing so you may be supported, loved, held, because you are. 
Then we say thank you to Earth for grounding you and re energizing you. Dropping right into the depths of your heart space. Smile to yourself. Smile to this life that you have. Feel the joy, the abundance, the joyful metanoia of absolute abundance. like poetry just moving around you, dancing, singing, painting. Feel the sounds igniting your inner joy. Feel your life force, the powerful being that you are. Feel the gratitude the absolute gratitude for everything that you have, that you are, that you are experiencing. There is no right, there is no wrong. Flow, move, connect. Today we call on to close our space, the rooster. I am the rooster, the rising sun and the break of day. I am vitality. I am sexuality. I am the eternal matrix of fertility. I am the time to act in me to use force in creation. I am fire and momentum while the feminine nurtures all things created. I am the force that shapes the created. I will guide it. I will give it life. I will mold its most useful form into place. Now is not the time to tend to warn our things, but to light the fire of new life. While you can acknowledge those times of stillness and acceptance, I assure you that this is not that time. I am creator God, wielding the power of seed and continuity. I am the domain of reproductive potency. Unleash potential and start making things happen. I will give you the new dawn you seek. You are eternal potency. You are conception. You are Dawn's Triumph Herald. You are Rooster. Closing our space, we'll finish off with three arms. Oh. Oh.